You know, as I predicted it, as I predicted it earlier, ISP going down every day at around the same time. It's only for a couple of minutes usually. Nothing too serious, nothing too crazy. We should be back. We should be back now. Yeah, the stream goes down uh, every time at about every day at around 5:10 or something like that, 5:15 sometimes. It really depends on the day. But what is going on is uh, the ISP just restarts the restarts the IP, and there's nothing I can do about it. Like I don't think that even calling them is gonna gonna be is going to be able to fix this. So we should be back now. Everything should be back in order. The hype, the hype is real. To be honest, I'm just glad that the beta is stable today. So we can check this this out in detail, you know. Even though I see players jumping all over the place here and there. Cereals! Hey buddy, how are you man? Thank you so much for your follow man. Much a fresh. Long time. It's been a long time, Cereals. A very long time. Hope all is well with you, buddy. <laughs> you remember the voice? I'm fine, man. I am fine. I'm having a great day. Even though I woke up with a headache and everything. Still. Still, I, I feel ecstatic. And uh, it is great catching up with you, actually. What have you been up to, man? Well, yeah, I'm not exactly back in World of Warcraft, per se. At the moment, I'm just playing the beta. Having a good times. Them good times. But I'm definitely gonna play World of the Drainer when it comes out. My old guild access, I don't know, I don't know if you remember them. Actually decided to remake for World of Rain or even back on Hell Marush as well. Where it all started, right? Where it all started. But yeah, I've been I've been uh, I've been streaming this I've been streaming this for about 15, 14, 15 days now. Been leveling up in this bitch. If you know what I mean. I see that you've been playing World of Warcraft as well, Serials. How serious are you about that? Or are you still just kicking ass in League of Legends and not caring anymore? Uh, yeah, I, I have a character on Kalmarush right now. It is level 30-ish or something like that. But I'm, de I'm definitely back on Kalmarush. Everybody is actually back on Kalmarush. Well, not the people from Semper Fraterry. Oh, you resub? Yeah, I saw you playing while I was playing Hearthstone, I saw you playing, but uh, I wasn't sure what was going on there. Not much to do in the in, in, in on Life Patch right now. And yeah, there's, there's Esper, I hope you remember Esper, man. You're raiding? Are you kidding me? Oh, 
Well, then you're pretty serious about it. If you're raiding. Is he starting again? Is, it, is, is the beta getting crazy again? Come on, give me a break. Okay, it seems to be alright now. Maybe some spikes. 13 out of 14 heroic, nothing amazing but it's K. Well, that is pretty amazing actually. We got a rare on our hands. Are you are you healing or are you DPSing? What is going on with that? <laughs> the lag is overpowered, I agree man. Oh you're healing. Well everything is good in that case. Yeah, healing has always been in my blood as well, man. I completely understand where you're coming from. Artemixon, welcome, buddy. Hey, man, how are you today? Hope all is well. David Kov, what is up, buddy? Did I get those? Am I still lagging? Hi, yo! How dare you, Boris the Clown? I am so disappointed with you, man. I thought we were friends. I thought we were friends and then you abandoned me like this. <sighs> you reached out and you crushed my heart, man. So I managed to get the boots and they are an upgrade, which is super. They look alright, I guess. Whatever happened to Sergey? Well, Sergey is in a meaningful relationship now. He he has a job. He has a life or whatever. And he moved from the United Kingdom back to to Macedonia, so shit is getting real for him at least. But they are all well. All of the people who played League of Legends together, they are all well. Some of them might be in chat, actually. <laughs> the days of trolling him were amazing, yeah? Yeah, but to be honest, I really don't miss his mother cooking back in the kitchen while playing League of Legends. You can hear the pots and the pans and the... And everything pretty much. That I do not miss at all. <laughs> He's easily trolled. <laughs> I really feel bad about looking behind his back. I wish he was here. I wish he was here. <laughs> the special snowflake syndrome. <laughs> but next time we see him, though, I'll, I'll tell him that you that, that you you think of him sometimes, even if it means that you think of him in a funny way, completely disrespecting him. Actually, completely disrespecting him. Hey, David Koff is in the house. Uh. I am just gonna be playing on Kalmarush actually, because I, I didn't play Mr. of Pandaria at all. Like I only leveled or something like that. <laughs> only when you touch yourself you think of Sergei, that is just disturbing man. But yeah, I'm gonna be on Kalmarush. I am going to be on Kalmarush for sure. That's what's, what is going to be. That is what is going to be. I'm going to be thinking for excess actually, and I'm, I'm just still going over the stuff that I wanna play. like. I'm not sure if I, I... I wanted to go with a warrior. But there's so many options. And so many good options as well. Like, I really like the, the mobility of the warrior. So are you on Marush as well? Or are you on some other server? Because I'm not sure... 
Oh yeah, they, 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 they did merge the server with the uh, with Dragon Maw. Oh well, well, it's pretty much we're like on the same server, right? Why am I hanging up my shaman's boots? Because I wanted. Uh, oh, you on Komaru? She's gone. Cool. Well, uh, I wanted. I wanted since like this would probably be my last expansion of World of Warcraft. I probably, you know, I wanted to try tanking. So I would say like over the years, over the ten or eleven years of playing World of Warcraft, I tried everything, you know. Because in TBC I did some melee DPS, I played Resto, I, I, I played the Mage in Classic, and uh, I've, I've pretty much done it all, except for tanks. So. That's what it's going to be. If the, uh, David Coffee, the stream is lagging for you from time to time, uh, try, to, try to use the pop-out window and you should be able to watch it without any issues. Yeah, every every Twitch uh, every Twitch stream has delay, but I, I think that well, David Ko completely understands that part. I think it's just lagging for him. So Ishael's orb. Shit. Well, if it's sto sh stopping for a short interval, just use the pop-out window and it should, it, it should fix itself. Most probably, it will fix itself. So where is the warp again? Oh, there it is. Okay. Well, let's do this. Let us do this real quick. This guy's hurt. Leave me alone. I don't auto loot because uh, I want to see what I'm looting actually. This is the first time I'm playing through the beta. And with auto loot, there is a chance that I'll be, I'll be missing some items and stuff like that. So this way, uh, I make sure that I can go through everything, you know. Be helpful to everybody so they, they get a chance to check out everything there is in the game. You know, there might be some rare drops, some epic stuff, um, pets, mounts, or whatever, so. <laughs> Thank you for letting me off, man. Thank you. Much appreciated. Is an available quest over there? See what's available over there. Okay, serious. Thank you so much for stopping by, man. Yeah, man. For sure. If you're on Kalmarush, we're gonna definitely, uh, you know, see each other. We will most definitely see each other. Where is this rare? Is it on top of the mountain? Ooh, we found it. So yes, your son will definitely hit you up on live, man, for sure. Most death. This tornado, such a pain in the ass. I'm just 
move these down here. Carry some resources. That's not much of a... Oh, at least he got me 35 gold out of it. So we've got that going. That object is busy. Really? Is he trying to loot it as well? Oh, it is just a leg spike. Leg spike. Leg spike. Okay. Let's go back. Actually, let's see what the, what the smuggler has to offer for today. You completely forgot about that. A crate of stolen resources? What? A follower for 400 gold? Don't mind if I do. What is this? All damage you deal also causes the target to bleed for 20% of your damage for a 2 cent last one hour. Oh! That is super nice. And the usual stuff like the pot and everything. So. Uh, <laughs> stolen resources. Garrison resources. I'm getting quite full of those. Follower. So, oh, he's level 99. He's level 99. So let me call up Esper and see if we can get this dungeon thing going or not. Hello? Yo, what's up? Hello, yes? What's up? This is Dog. Is that, is that Moose? Uh, this is Yak. Uh, this is Yak. Hello, Yak. This is always Yak. No, sometimes it's Moose. So Must I, I ask you? This is always Yak. No, no, I insist. I insist. So here's the deal. Are you gonna install the beta or are you just gonna be a douchebag as usual? Calling me a douchebag? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be this bag. You don't wanna install the beta? No. Why? You don't wanna do some dungeons? Not on the beta, no. Why not? You were you, you, you were into that a few days ago. What what changed? I am unhappy, unsatisfied. You did not call me. I am sad. I just called you, didn't I? Just now. Well, isn't that good? No, I am now sad. Okay. No, seriously, I don't want to play on the beta right now. I'm still working on this pally, getting it to 90. Oh, fuck. What is this quest that is supposed to be available? Okay then. Let me see if Danny, Danny is up for that, so we can do some dungeons in that case. You want to... Dungeons on beta. That keyword. So what's up? Besides stream and besides Not dungeons. much. Not much. Was it work this morning? And uh, came back home about I don't know an hour ago. And now uh, maybe an hour and a half. Actually, I tried to call you at about around 4:15 or something like that. But no. Yeah, room. I know that. That's why I called. Afterward. But nobody answered. I wasn't home. Well, how dare you not be home? I don't know, money and stuff. Sure, whatever. Money's for the week anyway. What? Yeah. You heard this. You heard it here for the, for, for the first time, guys. Well, I, I heard it, but I didn't understand it, so that doesn't really help. Sure. Okay. You are a sad boy, apparently. You seem sad. Nope, I am actually not. I'm trying to find a quest here and it's just completely... I cannot find it. It says on the map that I have a quest here, Power on Earth. Okay. And. Uh... I can't seem to find the NPC that gives it. Well, keep looking, I guess. I can't help you. I haven't seen the beta yet. So. No, I'm just, I'm just telling you what is going on, man. Usually, my inside wiki could give you directions. 
No, work was fine. I uh, heard that I'm gonna get my money back from the car reparations that I had to do in Italy. Okay. That's fine. That's like 600 euros right in the pocket. Oh, that's cool stuff. And other than that, yeah, I actually spent most of the day behind the computer working out something in Excel because my chef is an absolute retard and can't do it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's easy. Easy money. Easy work. Thing is, the company bought another company again, or my company bought another company again. Okay, so you're yeah. growing slowly but surely. Well, I think the turnover last year was like 15 million ish, so yeah, we're pretty big already. Okay. Or they are, since I got taken over as well. But yeah, the main idea is that the other company is gonna get the same storage management as us. Mm hmm. That I have to pretty much get their entire storage. Right? It's a fun task. Hmm. Okay. Sounds alright, I guess. I don't know anything about what you do, like your storage stuff. So. Well, basically, last couple of days, but especially today, I've been working on uh, actually having the data input ready so they can have uh, their logistics up and running. That's all it is, really. It's not too special. But it's fun work, because you get to fuck around in Excel non-stop. Okay. If that's, if that's your thing, then yeah. Yeah, sure. If that's your thing, then knock yourself out. <laughs> exactly. So you need to go back now, again there. God damn it. Basically, it just means just ending up entering a lot of formulas and trying different shit and looking up on the internet what I'm doing wrong. So great way of learning. Browsing 9 gag on the side? No, I'm a bit scared to do that. We have got a pretty tight internet control there. No joke. Alrighty. And then, you know, there's 10,000 problems going on. Wow. That's not exactly right. I used to have my department up and running and it's always clean and perfect. And I go on vacation for two weeks and the entire place I come back to is a freaking mess. That's... really gets my blood pumping, I guess. Well, yeah, I'm doing great. Oh well. You can have everything, right? You can have all the good stuff in life. I suppose. So, Shadow Dust? Where do you collect it from, though? Like, is it something particular? Or... Some of these quests, man. Some of these quests. Okay, shadow does drop from these. So that's cool. Just as I hit it. Hey Boki, how are you man? Is everything alright with you? Is everything alright buddy? Thank you so much for stopping by man. Much up fresh. So the moment that this valley hits 90, I think let's just get a priest to 90. You're on a roll. Well, oh. with a pre-order, it should be pretty easy. It's like click done. Hmm. Uh, Boki, I'm fine, man. I'm fine. I woke up with a headache today. Had a very long day, actually. I've been out all, almost all day. But I am glad that the server seems sort of stable today, so we can actually play some beta. And hopefully get our viewership back, because the last few days were a little bit slow. They were a little bit slow. You have been doing the same thing over and over. Hmm? You have been doing the same thing over and over. What, questing? That. But mostly how you address the public and what you say. Well... 
I, I don't want to be uh, kicked in this. Yeah. But I am fine, Bucky. Have you seen life is feudal your own? No, what is that? Life is feudal your own. Life is feudal your own. Is this something safe? Is this a game? A game that is coming up next week on Steam. Life is Feudal Your Own is an alternative to the new and revolution life of sandbox MMORPG. Really? Oh, this looks good. Speak to me. What is it? Well, it seems that... Okay, let's try, let's try to look into this. Key features. Key features. It's sandbox. Full unlimited and terraforming possibilities. Alright. Raising and lowering ground levels with sloping effects, multiple ground materials, so soil, rock, granite, or veins. Hey Avnoi, welcome back man, how are you? Uh, Pave roads to speed up your settlement's economy or to benefit from the community as a whole. Free build so you can build your town. This is like... Is this like settlers? But in first person. Mini games? Full loot and free PvP. Wow, this looks amazing, man. No target combat, realistic body damage and status. So this is pretty much like a medieval daisy. Is this like a medieval daisy? Is this what it is? I'm it looking at the stream and that's actually looking pretty good. It actually is looking pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. You caught my interest there. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But it doesn't look crap though. I mean, okay, it doesn't have like the best textures in the world, but this definitely looks alright. You can't expect everything from everything. Yeah, I know. But there is a certain lack of, uh, how do you say that, knightish MMORPGs. Like medieval, you mean? Sure, yeah, with decent combat. There's this one thing that's old, I've played it with a friend a couple times, I actually lost the name in my head. Combat was great there, but it's old. Uh, execute FX, this is life is feudal. Something that uh, Boki actually shared with us a couple of minutes ago. Apparently it's a sandbox MMO where we can build stuff and you can combat stuff. It doesn't look too bad to be honest, like, okay, it's not crisis looking, but still. Alright, is there any video of this? Maybe a trailer or something? Let me just... Let me just lower this. By the way, if you guys want to check it out for yourselves, uh, this is the website. But let's see, let's see their trailer. Checking it out in a couple of seconds. Okay, it has some sort of a crafting system like Minecraft, pretty much. Wow, you have to remove the grass before you even build. Oh, he was plowing the field actually. Oh, we can play Saira, yes. For 45 minutes, plowing the field. <laughs> <laughs> Looks pretty damn good, man. This looks very awesome, actually. Yeah, this looks very, very awesome. Dungeon Keeper, yes. Uh, yeah, those the, the removing <laughs> of the dirt and stuff like that. So let's see. Quite a lot of diverse buildings. Okay, Minecraft meets settlers. You could say that. So I'm definitely gonna take a look at this one. How much is it on Steam, uh, Boki? Wow! This definitely looks awesome. Are 
I can only imagine the amount of fuck ups though. So it's free? Are you kidding me? This is free to play? There must be some microtransactions and stuff like that. How? How do you monetize this? See, that's what I like. No target based combat physics. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. Life is feudal. The, the, the oh. name of it, though, is... <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you kidding me? If you kill someone, you actually get... their items? It seems so, yeah. It seems so, but uh, just to go back to the key features, if I'm not mistaken, or is, was that on the front page? Let me just check this one out. Well, I, I, I really want to die of old age in that game. Please, please tell me. Okay, so me. let's go to this team web page and see how much this costs actually. There is no price on Steam yet. Life is feudal price. Okay. Maybe it'll cost a few happy little pills. Oh wait, you don't listen to pop. Whoa. It's 215 Canadian dollars to get into it. What? Yeah, because apparently this was kickstarted on Indiegogo. It was crowdfunded on Indiegogo, so... Okay, now I'm listening. How much is a Canadian dollar? Mm, 215 Canadian dollars into euros. Into euros. 150 euros. That's too much. That is way too much. But you know, this is the case usually with games that have been crowdfunded. Uh, w whenever it goes early, uh, whenever it goes out early into the public, it only goes to those people that paid like I don't know two hundred dollars or something that like that above for for the trough, for their crowdfunding campaign. Oh, usually crowdfunders get specific you know items or quests or whatever mentioned after them. That yeah, maybe but some some role in the credits. You know, if you want to attract the public and actually get the game known, how can you roll it for a couple of months for that much money? You know? That doesn't make sense to me. Well, maybe it will be like that uh, uh, you know, for a couple of months at least. Okay, good luck selling that for 150. Like, 150 for early access is quite a lot. It's too much. It's not even a lot. It's just let's take let's take Planetary Annihilation as an example. Planetary Annihilation costed 800 euros whenever it got released on on, on Steam because. They only gave out the alpha to, to people that were actually uh, that contributed something like I don't know six hundred euros or stuff like that. That early alpha, of course, as time passed, uh, the game got cheaper and cheaper. But well, that doesn't make any sense, to me, really. But if it's going to be available on nineteenth of September, is that the release date? Maybe that's why they haven't uh, given us a price yet. Could be. Who knows? We'll have to see on the release date. But this, that, that is definitely going on my list of games that I want to try, man. That looks amazing. Yep. Good find. Well done. Yep, Hooray, definitely. Hooray and three cheers to you. <laughs> How much would you give for a single player non-linear sci-fi FPS RPG genre game like Mass Effect or something long like 10 hours or so? I would give 20 euros. 15 to 20 euros. For a 10 hour game from a studio that I don't know, uh, I don't trust, I wouldn't give it more than 15, 20. 20 at max. It has to be your thing, I probably wouldn't give anything. <laughs> Like, if I'm giving out money, that, that is, like, in the first place. But for a new studio to sell me, like, a game, uh, a single-player sci-fi RPG and stuff like that, it better be the most amazing, the, the most amazing thing ever, to be honest. Yeah, well, sci-fi shooters. Yawn. Hmm. Oh, and I forgot the part where it was MMO. RPG. Well, this one is an MMORPG apparently. 10,000 people on one server. 
that, yeah. that actually appeals to me. I really am up for that kind of stuff, but this is not a sci-fi MMO. This yeah. is another first-person shooter either. Yeah, Execute is asking because he's working on a sci-fi sort of single-player-ish game. Well, I'm very, very uh, limited to what I play. Also, these days. So that, you know, don't take my opinion from it. Yeah, but what I'm trying to say is like, if it's like 20, then it would be like 15 the first week, because it's gonna be like 20% off or whatever. Hey, yeah, you can always do what the rest does. Mm -hmm. Free to play. Oh. Free to play, then monetize it later on. That could work. I guess. Danny just replied. He feels like playing the beta. I wonder what where extraordinary is. He could be. Oh, this is this is a quest mod. Okay. Hello there, buddy. This terracotta army is such a joke. I'm sorry. What? The terracotta army in. Sorry. I'm in Pandaria? Yeah, the concept is freaking awesome. You don't know the Terracotta Army? I know what the Terracotta Army is, I just don't, haven't seen it in, in Pandaria. Where, where is it? It's monsters that come alive and turn back to stone. Oh, okay. And they change factions so that when they're stone, they actually get stunned and don't attack you back. Which I means that if you attack them, but they weren't, they weren't arranged as a terracotta army, it was just a, some ruined building and they were inside of it. Well, they, it's actually called terracotta army. Really? Yeah. yeah okay. Maybe you should start with the You're so funny, man. Thank you so much for your support, Desper. You're welcome. You're, You're welcome. great. Always. That's what friends are for. Mm -hmm. Real friends tell you to, you know, piss off and die. But here in the time giant, I booted it up before bed last night. Tried importing the live characters. It so it said failed. I said fuck it and went to bed. Trying to talk to Danny about this. You really want to go? Hmm? You really want to go? Well, I want to do some dungeons here for sure. Oh, that's not me though, that's, that's a ghost. ghost yeah, that, is the, that is the ghost guys, I hope you I hope you caught that one. That is his ghost voice, it's always, it's always a Scottish pirate. <laughs> his voice is always a Scottish pirate. <laughs> it's something. <laughs> sure. So let's see what Dan is saying. My happy little. Alrighty. The drop rate on these <laughs> on these things is a piece of shit. This whole zone has actually been plagued with low drop rate of quest items. That's that's cue worthy. What is the point of though? Like, what is the point of that? Seriously. Well, you know, add a couple of low drop rates and claim to have a hundred of new playing hours. GG. Yeah, that that is very good design. Like, that is so nice for your community. <laughs> like, people enjoy that so much. I know. Instead of talking about how awesome it is, you're gonna be talking like, man, the drop rate on these things. And still, everybody loves the nesting where he quest line where they just get to kill 15 monsters and turn it in <laughs> everybody loves it well yeah because you kill 15 monsters and you turn it in <laughs> yeah. you know you get the point like getting shitty you know giving me shitty drop rates doesn't make it for a fun quest no but it's especially when there's not a lot of mobs in the area as well that so there's a limited amount of mobs they don't have a good drop rate. That is the best shit ever, man. No, but seriously, 
Every quest is either gather this, go there, kill this, or something of the like. But whenever nesting wary is involved, everybody jumps to the quest line and goes like, yeah, nesting wary, I get to kill three times 15 of this, and then this, and then this, and then I get to kill a bot. <laughs> and I'll get a loot reward. Somehow that worked. It does. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the parent loot. Is this implicit of the quests? Maybe it's just because of the old days. The quests were actually, you know, shit to find. <laughs> Those quests were easy. I don't know what it is. Let me just see what Danny is saying. Okay, he he's reluctant that he's gonna fail. He he doesn't want to uh, people to see him fail. Some people, man. I, 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 I really, I really wish that everybody was like no kill. What pro? No, having no issues being kicked out of the guild in front of ten thousand people. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's what you get for streaming. So, GG. No, well, he wasn't streaming. The guild master of Method was streaming, but sure. Oh, I thought he was streaming. No. Oh, that makes it all the better. Exactly. So everybody was like, "Oh my god, this guy is so shit." Well, in reality, <laughs> the guy giving the giving out the tactics was shit, and he was just a harmless victim there. At least he's back with us now. So. Yeah. It's all good in the hood. It's all good in the swimming pool. It's all cool in the swimming pool. In the streaming pool, you mean? In the swimming pool. <laughs> okay, Did I, you have I, a listen to that radio play I sent you? No, I didn't have the chance. Not yet. I, 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 sorry, I forgot you're so busy streaming six hours a day, you have no time. Mm -hmm. Because streaming pays no, me bills, right? Blow. No blow. But very true. Uh huh. So what is he, what is he saying? Dude, I'm looking at the Ordo Battle Yak. The Ordo Battle Yak. <laughs> battle Yak, sorry. That is like a mount, right? Uh, pff, I don't know. I haven't played Mr. Panera. Oh, by the I way, did you see did you see the mount that they're giving out for the 10th year anniversary of World of Warcraft? Yes, I did. A core hound, really? Although uh, it is, no, no, it's it, a puppy. It is you, no, 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 no. The the core hound is actually if you do molten core. If you log in, you get a really cool what seems to be a fox like. But that's not a mount. Name. That is a pet. You mean an actual? Core hound mount? An actual core hound mount. Oh, yeah. You're riding a two headed dog. Come on. That I is on fire, I swear to god man, look I'm gonna I'm gonna link this. Can I call it Kerberos, please? Well okay let, let me just show you guys. I might just convert that to Kerber, but So what is going on? Ooh. So, so there's new haircuts and stuff like that, but let me just scroll down a little bit here. There we go. Here it is. So if you played vanilla, mm -hmm. like probably the majority of the player base has, or I hope they have. How awesome do you think they think it is to ride a core hound? So those things have been badass ever since. Uh, since yeah, one. but this one looks even more badass because I, you know what? You, you can see it in about 30 seconds of stream or whatever. I'm just gonna link the video for everybody if they want to check it in detail. But, uh. Yeah, definitely. And then if you're a freaking hunter, you know, you can go Beastmaster and tame one. And if you got an authenticator, you got the pup with it. <laughs> yeah. See, so you get triple core hound, bitches. Yes. Like the core hound family. Yeah. Yo, dog, I heard you like core hounds. 
So I put a cork on the cork, but this one is huge. Like literally, it takes up the whole screen. It's gonna get nerfed in size, for sure. Why would they nerf it in size? Because everything got nerfed in size. Only gnomes are still riding bigger shit for whatever reason. I don't know. Must be. Uh, Boris the clown. The pets do do not grow actually. Small penis sky. issues with gnomes. You know. Uh, compensating and stuff yep. like that. Yes, yes. Definitely. Compensating oh. for the for uh, real. Uh, I mean, where? He wanted it to grow bigger, so you're the one of those people that compensate, Boris? Is that is that the case, man? Definitely. So Must where? Be. I got two quests here, but they, they, they don't show up on the map. Let me just... So can I copy this? No. Uh, let me just give Danny my battle tag real quick. What well, is that the world boss over there? Yep. But he's hiding behind the tree. Stop hiding, you bastard. Well, he ran away from me. It ran away. Shadows gather. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, finish the garrison mission. One more for 30 minutes and then we'll go back, go back and do some more. In the meantime... By the way, um, have you played any Mr. Pandaria? I only leveled one character, uh, two characters to level 90 but... It was Did a very you, long time ago. Do you, do you know of the Timeless Isle? Yeah, I know. Because a friend of mine is telling me that you can get free epics there. Yep, that's pretty much how it works. So, how does it work? Uh, there is this part with chests and stuff like that. From those chests you get coins, and those coins you can turn them in for, for loot. But there's also rare mobs all over the place. Group quests and stuff like that. And when you whenever you kill those group quests, which I think are daily as well. Uh, you actually uh, get epic rewards for that. Okay. Okay. There's you know welfare epics. Well, oh, that oh, is that pretty much there just to get your item level up. To be honest. So you can do looking for raid easily. Yeah, or just, you know, get a kickstart. I think I'll play a priest on in the... That's expensive, as a healer. Okay. I keep giving it more thought, and the more I think about it, the cooler it gets in my head. What happened to the druid idea, though? In the versatility, some her died <laughs> along the way. <laughs> you know, the thing is, you can play Pharaoh and be a melee or a boomkin and still be ranged, and all is good. But in the end, you're still a mixed ball of shit, and a priest is yeah dedicated. Yeah, it, it makes sense. 
definitely makes sense. So Boris the Clown say he's compensating by doing huge mocks. That is so nice of you. So so nice. Yeah. Oh, Macedonia. Is it safe to say the other word with this crowd? I guess so. Because everybody knows how I love pronouncing fair. <laughs> and everybody will just love you more for that now. You fucking asshole. You had to go there, right? Every single time. Uh, so if you're just joining us actually, uh, we're gonna do some dungeons in about 15 to 20 minutes just as soon as uh, my, One of my friends gets ready for that and uh, I think that David Koff is still around. I'm not sure But uh, we should be able to we should be able to get a group going Very soon There's a rare over there. A rare of the. What is it with elite mobs or boss mobs in small caves? <laughs> I do not get it. They like they like it. It's damp and warm, just like home. Makes no sense. You make no sense. Oops. Server disconnect. World server is down. I can't wait. Execute FXS uh, some money and buy Nvidia Quadro 6000 and that shit is nastily awesome. Well, if you want to make uh, pull out the maximum out of the Quadro 6000, then you probably have to get like a double Xeon 32 core CPU combo and stuff like that. You will most probably have to have to get like a double Xeon for sure. Thirty-nine percent to go. Yes, yes, yes. Don't you get a reward for getting three level nineties, like an achievement? Yeah, does make sense. If you get it in real life. <laughs> well, congrats! You spent money. <laughs> That's how I'm getting it. To be fair. Yeah. Okay. Congrats, you rich asshole. Uh. You know, it goes without saying, all those other people that have pre-ordered every single special edition of this game. <laughs> that would have been something. The luck. Come on, server. Come on, you son of a bitch. The other servers seem fine. Okay, let's go to the Shimon and see if I can get some PvE gear going inside of the garrison, just to get it get it ready a little bit for the dungeoneering. Your garrison supplier. Okay, what does he give? What tier is this garrison? It's tier one. Okay, so let's just do it. To the next tier, and then to the next tier, right? Okay. Hmm. This I I clear out the quest hub. And um, I accept four new quests, and I'm not reading anything. I'm just clicking on the map. Where do I have to go? And I, as I accept these quests, I notice that they are just go here, talk to that guy quest because they actually give seventeen thousand experience instead of like the usual forty k. 
it's sad that you actually notice that kind of stuff. <laughs> so what? Can I buy this? No, this is enhancement elemental. So I need I need resto gear, right? This is not resto gear. Okay, this cloak is resto. So I cannot buy that. Or well, what's going on? Agility cloak, spirit cloak, right? So how do I get these epic six shards then? How do I do this? Do you need to talk to the supplier again? Yeah, you're your supplier. See you around. Ten thousand garrison materials, but I also would like to get some epic sea shards. Vita, why do you care about epics? No, but I, I want to get better that. gear so I can do the dungeons more easily. <laughs> Oh, that's the reason why everybody gets scared. Oh, is that the case, you smart ass but, motherfucker? But this gear is gonna disappear. Uh, I've been expecting you. Okay. Okay, let's see. Choke on Apexis. Crystal beta. Comments. Oh, so you need to play at level 100 to get those. Alright. So then when do I, where do I buy the, the rest of gear, if that's the case? Why do I have a strength shield? <laughs> like really? This makes no sense whatsoever. Because it's tall. So do you think they'll ever invent new cave systems, or is this going to go on and on and on? <laughs> I've been walking into the same cave for 10 years now. Almost. Actually, I have because I played the beta in a while, so pretty sure I have been walking there for 10 years now. Beta was awesome. Which beta? Sorry, I wasn't listening, I was looking at something. The World of Warcraft beta, where everything ended in fire. The World of what beta? World of Warcraft beta. Ten years ago. Oh, whoa. Where everything ended in fire and demons took over the world. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well this character is pretty much set. Since I, if I cannot buy that gear then, not much you can do about it. Is this realm back? It seems it's not. Oh, oh. Yucks. This is the way to go, man. What am I? A, a yuck washing surface? What the, the fuck is this place? Are you kidding me? Have you seen this place? Yeah, I've seen it. It's the zone before the wall, right before you enter the Valley of Blossoms or whatever it's called. It's a yuck wash. Yeah. I really hate that expansion. It's pretty cut. This, this, this expansion is so stupid. Nope, the server is not alright. What else?
<laughs> I did find a mighty fine sketch yesterday about an Australian um, talking about gun control in America. And? I loved it. I mean, it's it's that I stopped smoking. Otherwise, I'd probably piss my pants at some point. <laughs> you stopped smoking? Well, cutting it would be better. Because the amount that I smoked at some point was just too much. <laughs> at some point, he makes an argument, like. I'm not gonna spoil everything in case you want to watch it, but he says 50% of the people here agree with me 20% of the people do not agree with me. Are you talking about Jim Jeffries? Might be You, you are talking about Jim Jeffries. Is he Australian? Yeah, then it's him Definitely. They hate they hate me because I make good arguments <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, David Kof, are you in the stream? Nope, he left. He left. I guess he will come back. So, let me just switch up my spec here real quick. Are you gonna heal? I am going to heal, yeah. But I need to get an, an elemental spec as well so I can do some questing on this server because the one that my shaman is on is just completely and utterly dead. So you're gonna hit a dungeon. Yeah. And this is gonna be awesome to watch. I already did that. Because I could not imagine healing without grit or heal water or any add on that would allow me what? to pick bars in. Really? Yeah. That is a same. You know how add on dependent I am. Okay, well yeah, I do I do know. Must clean screen to start with. <laughs> I like my last setup on my, on my mage though. As nothing shown. I Not think this should have been. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I should have gone with an alliance character. Stream. It'd be growing. It'd be growing slowly but surely, yeah. Slowly but surely. Uh, yeah, it, it always it always takes about an hour for it to pick up. People are getting home. Yeah. Nope. That's not that is not what I was supposed to be doing actually. I should have gone with the pre-made character. White hair. This one, I really don't like these horns. These, on the other hand, are fine. And this face is fine as well. There we go. If you're just joining us, I'm going to be starting uh, a fresh alliance character and leveling it on this server. Hopefully the servers will be a bit more stable today. Up until yesterday, everything was so dodgy. Uh, they were doing some stress testing and stuff like that. However, at least this server seems to be stable today. So. And I'm just waiting for a friend of mine to, to prepare and then we will be able to, to do some dungeons. So if you want to see some PvE stuff, 
some light PvE stuff, then stay tuned. Bring a Yakard. I rose to level 89 so I can hurt the ox. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're the savior of Azeroth. This is this game, man. The, the Kingslayer. This is not even Azeroth. Sadly enough. I know. And yet, you still end up doing stupid shit for stupid people. Like, how about you wash my yak? How about you fuck <laughs> off? <laughs> like, seriously. How about you go and fuck off? It would make an awesome real life show. Wash my yak. But, you know, in games, it just wouldn't work. <laughs> His yak needs washing, man. You know, soon I'm gonna get a quest like, dude, where's my yak or something? <laughs> Are we there, yak? <laughs> Are we there, yak? <laughs> How much more ice cube jokes can I think up of? Yeah. I don't know. They're getting old, to be honest. I yak degraded. What else is there? Could be useful. Healing search for sure. Was this one? Yep. Was this one? Okay. I got heroism now. Uh, this should go here. Yep. Okay. Lava burst here. Lightning bolt here. Lightning shield here. <laughs> I missed the days where laying hands was an hour without four burns. <laughs> Because, you know, it felt epic when you used it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. But nowadays everything causes four burns, it seems. <laughs> Water walking. Don't mind if I do. You can't even bubble hearth anymore. I thought it'd be cancelled today. Out of window, uh, no man. Uh, I actually, I actually managed to come back home in time, and I decided to come online and get the show on the road. And welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. So what am I missing? I'm missing some talent stuff, right? Okay. Let's get the talent show on the road. This is gonna be useful. This is gonna be useful. Uh, this is gonna be useful. Ancestral swiftness, should I go for that? I like elemental mastery. Uh, conductivity. No. Yep, this is nice. Elemental blast, learn. I am fine out of window. How about yourself, man? You having a good day? So, new stuff. Astral shift, don't mind if I do. Uh, ancestral guidance, yes, please. Hey, Spawniski, Spawniski, Spawniski. I, I just cannot announce that name, man. What, what is up? What is the haps? This is gonna be impor importante. Elemental blast goes on five. Uh, what? I already removed that. Okay, this one. Is that it? Is that all, guys? Do we have it covered? I think we have. Okay. Spawinski. Spawinski. Let me just check my messages here real quick. So, uh, I am. I just. Rem I just made uh, the character. I created it. Let me just unlock the frames, and we're gonna get the show on the road. We're gonna get the show on the road. There we go. So, first things first. Uh, go to the Blasted Lands and start the quests. Sorry for the downtime, guys. However, 
New character requires maintenance. Let's get this show on the road. Oh, I, I forgot to move, move in some mounts here. So the Amani Warrior. And uh, the Black Proto Drake. There we go. Flightmaster. Let's get started. So, uh, if you are new to the channel, I'm playing World, World of Drainer right now. I know there's a lot of new people watching right now. The World of Drainer beta. This game should be out on November 16th, I think. Was it? Was that the release date, Esper? Somewhere in November. And uh, for the last couple of weeks, I've been playing it, questing most of the time and stuff like that. However, server instability sort of stops me from playing my main character, so I just decided to remake one and start the Alliance site, even though. The Alliance site is actually uh, completely made, so there's cinematics, there's stuff like that, so there's quite a lot of interesting stuff to watch here. If you're into the World of Warcraft universe, that is. If you're into that kind of stuff. So destroying some demolishers, and this is actually a, a very weird quest later on, where you have to kill ogres in order to poison them. You're gonna get that. You're gonna get to that in a sec. Mm -hmm. The music stopped. Let me just play some music. There we go. Esper, are you hear me? I think he went to AFK. Spoinski. I still cannot announce that. I'm still having issues with that. Spolinski. So this is the Blasted Lands. This is just south of Stormwind City. Uh, and uh, it appears that the Iron uh, the Iron March orcs are sort of in all up in this place. The Iron Horde, pretty much. And the, the story behind this expansion, at least from what we gathered so far as information, has been that uh, uh, Gromash, uh, Gromash Hellscream, the previous uh, warlord of the court, uh, went back in time and he gave, uh, gave information to the orcs about how to open the dark portal and uh, sort of, you know, go into Azeroth and stuff like that. And the dark portal is over there actually, so let me just finish this one up real quick. And now I'll, I'll give you guys a tour of where the dark portal is. And there's quite a lot of interesting stuff that is going to happen in the next uh, upcoming minutes actually. When it comes to w what this world is going through right now. There's the dark portal. And as you can see, Horde is just... Uh, horde, orcs. Red orcs are, and iron orcs and stuff like that are just pouring out of the portal. And our job's, job, at least from the Alliance side, Alliance standing point, is to stop them, close down the portal, and uh, sort of get back, get Drainer back in his former glory. For those that are wondering what, what is going on with Outland and stuff like that, Drainer is basically, this portal that we just saw actually takes you to a different timeline. So both of the worlds exist. Both of those worlds exist. We need to take care of the scouts here. I did this the other day, but that character, I really don't enjoy playing the, the mage. But this is not gonna take me too long to get to the point where my mage is, so. I'm gonna go from there. Sorry, my phone is ringing, just give me a couple of seconds. Oh, 
charging. <laughs> Apologies for that, but when my mother calls, I have to answer. Mothers are very important in life. So let's see, auto intercess, you can access it, no problem. But the portal, uh, it, so what is going on? If you're wondering where the old portal will be, it will be moved to the caverns of time. Yes, the old portal has been moved to the caverns of time. And this new portal that takes you to the different timeline is actually uh, in the blasted lands right now. The old portal is in the caverns of time. If you don't guys don't know where the caverns of time are, the caverns of time can be found in Kalimdor, in Tanaris, and here they are. Let me just increase the map size here. Here they are. And even though uh, a lot of those time traveling dragons uh, don't exist anymore, Gromash actually managed to find the last one that had the crystal and went back in time. So I covered, I managed to kill all the scouts. I need to prevent some executions right now and um, we will be able to enter the dark portal and start to, to sort of thin out the orcs on the other side and it, it is very fun actually because uh, they have like uh, cinematic introductions and stuff like that so that is definitely a sight to see That is definitely a sight to see. So... And auto, what the auto is saying in the chat is actually uh, uh, very true. Uh, very true. The, portal, uh, the portal will only be moved once you reach level 60. Uh, once, you, once you reach uh, level 90. Uh, so... In order for those uh, things to happen, uh, you will you will have to get to level 90 in order for those portals to get moved. So you will go through Outland and through this portal twice to your leveling process. Uh, once when you are uh, when you are about to hit uh, the Burning Crusade, enter the Burning Crusade and enter Outland, and then the next time when you reach level 90 and you're gonna quest in in Draenor. Chat here real quick. <laughs> nostalgia is overflowing, yeah, man. Nostal nostalgia all over the place. But there's quite a lot of old characters uh, in this expansion that are coming back, like Nirzul, for example, which is one half of the Lich King. Uh, actually, I was I, I was I was able to reach uh, reach to him in one of those dungeons, and we were trying to kill him like a week ago or something like that. But the fight was a bit overtuned. Just a pinch overtuned, and uh, we didn't manage to take him down. Like one more execution, it's stopping. Would be, uh, Auto Winter says, would be nice to see some, bur some burning legion again. Yeah, man, definitely. But we did see, we did some demons. We did see some demons actually destroying some planets, if you remember, uh, when we were questing around Shatrat, I think, on core side. So we'll have to see how the Alliance actually handles those. I think it was Gul'dan and uh, Ner'zhul that we that were actually summoning that uh, that major demon that destroyed the planet. The planet was called Xoroth or Xanoth, something like that. So slowly but surely we are moving behind the enemy, the enemy lines. There's a lot of ogres here and there's always been a lot of ogres here. Ever since classic World of Warcraft, and o ogres actually play a huge role uh, in in World of Draenor as an expansion. They're quite important. Both ogres, ogrons, and gron, uh, which are all huge m monsters, pretty much. But I was always wondering, and I'm not sure if anybody can answer this, but I really want to know because ogres have only male characters. We have never seen a female character from o ogres, and I always wondered how they procreate, actually has always been in the back of my mind like how in the world are there so many ogres and there's only male ogres do they lay eggs or something and then I don't know I don't even know 
So this girl over here has the battle plan. One of the battle plans, actually. I would win to, but they did become uh, allies in a, uh, uh, for a couple of times, actually. You remember when Undercity was under attack? Uh, so the Alliance and the Horde actually worked together quite a lot of times. They were friends quite a lot of times. I mean, they usually hate each other, but, uh, you know, uh, taking down Gromash was also a conjoined effort. It wasn't just the, the Horde or the Alliance that took him down. It took both sides, actually, to deal with that. So, this fort over here, the Nethergard Keep, actually, the one that we are at right now, uh, has never been held for too long, actually. Uh, the thing about this one is that it's so close to the Dark Portal over here. And it, it is a shame because according to what is going on in the world, there's quite a lot of mines over here. And those mines have never been utilized fully. I can quote this from the forums about the ogres just because it doesn't have breasts. It doesn't mean it's not female, okay. <laughs> that actually makes a lot of sense, man. Makes a lot of sense. So the Alliance has just abandoned this place pretty much. Hey Execute, thank you so, thank you so much for hanging out man. Uh, go do your work man, work is always important, always important. So if you're just tuning in right now, uh, in a couple of minutes, maybe like 5 or 10 minutes we'll have to see, we're gonna do some dungeons with a friend of mine. and. Uh, if you're interested in seeing some dungeons and stuff like that, do stay tuned. Right now I just started the new character alliance side. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do that for for, for a wee bit. For just a pinch. I know that there's a lot of uh, uh, the there's there, I have a very dear friend of mine uh, called Shen Crowley, and he's teaching somewhere in the world. I'm not sure where exactly. And I know that that, he, that his students are watching right now. So hello, everybody! Thank you so much for being here. I uh, I hope that there's some World of Warcraft fans between you, and you're gonna enjoy yourself while watching this. this guy real quick so I can do the flag first and then I'm gonna take care of him so if you hex him he dismounts which is a shame it is the shame oh well games will always be buggy especially in beta I'm not sure if that's gonna happen on live to be honest Once we enter the dungeon, I'm gonna move the chat uh, a little bit up because we're gonna be explaining tactics and stuff like that. There's quite a lot of them actually. Okay, how how about you guys chill? I think the hex now.
Where are those mobs attacking me actually? I don't know where they, where they all came from. Like I know I mean their house and everything, it's just that... Is, is it bugged? Or am I missing something? Is it just respawning constantly? Okay, maybe it just bugged out for a second there. Actually, I need to. I need to make a phone call. Just give me a sec, guys. I'll be with you. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry about that, but the phone call had, the phone call had to be made. Damn phone, call, phone calls had to be made. Uh, I'm gonna be. I'm not gonna be streaming all day today, by the way. I'm gonna be cutting it around 10. It's a bit shorter than usual. Simply because uh, it's been a long day actually for me. So very long day. So what? Am I missing here something or no? That was it, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, there's a battle plan that I need to take from my NPC here. However, he just got wasted, so I'm gonna go go in the fortress real quick. It would be nice if I could enter with this mount and get dismounted automatically, but no, no, no. Wait a second, my cat. My cat is getting crazy. Meow! Oh. Oh. The beast! Fear him! I love this guy. I love him! Did it pull something? I did. Okay. I guess it is. Blacker than the night itself. Fear him, mortals. For he is Shiva, my cat. <laughs> So tell me guys, uh, how did you how did you like uh, me playing Dark Souls yesterday? Was it enjoyable for you? For those people that were actually here and watching. Yes, 
so bad. So where were you, man? Okay. Didn't get that home. So yeah. Your old ball and chains. Yeah, all bit. So what's the news? The news is that Danny takes freaking ages <laughs> to to make a new character. However, I've been questing a lot, and uh, Zoki might be having a new job actually. Zoki. Oh, that's what the illustration. Uh, he's gonna be the head. Elect electrics guy at the National Museum of History. No surprise there. Yeah. That guy is good. That guy is amazing. Amazing. Did you see the arcade machine that he made? Yeah. I, I actually played, played it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was super fun. That game was super hard as well. Well, there's plenty we of games. We played a couple, but that was just one sideways shooter. I don't remember which one we played. Maybe something with, with airplanes? Uh, two players kind of chubby running over the... Uh, running over the field to the right. I don't know. I remember that we played the cowboy game, but that's about it. That's all I remember, actually. Cowboy game. No. no, it was with those two cowboys and you yeah. run on top of cows and stuff like that. Uh, no. Uh, Sunset Riders. Sunset Riders. Yeah, it yeah. was Sunset Riders. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Memories. So Avnoi says, uh, "Yeah, you should play some Dark Souls again. It was nice." Okay, man. Okay. I'll ha I'll definitely have to have to sort out a schedule for that kind of stuff. I mean, I would definitely would like to be able to, to, to play the beta as much as I can whenever it's up and everything. So am I going to explode? Is What is going to happen? I don't know guys if you noticed, but there's whenever there's stuff on the ground right now, at least for the bombs and stuff like that, there's always counters on top of it. Yeah, Dark Souls def is definitely super fun. And I had a lot of fun actually playing it yesterday, to be honest. Because I was giving you a smack. Hmm? Oh, I because I was on your back. No, I actually... Even enjoyed it even before you were at my back. I always enjoy Dark Souls. to lower the volume of the music so I can actually hear you speak. Because I, I lowered your volume a little bit. Just a pinch. So this is the quest that I was talking about earlier, guys, where I had to kill ogres in order to poison them. <laughs> but right now I'm only, I'm only, I only need to, to be killing them. It seems. Not do any poisoning. Poison. You're playing a male character. No, I'm playing a female character. So you've uh, you've got that going for you. So I go on the PTR last night. Kick says, "Is it true? No more lightning bolt on the run. No more lightning bolt on the run, man. I am sorry, but no more lightning bolt on the run." Uh. I think I think that they had a feeling that sort of casting on the run would make this game look like Wildstar, so they just decided to give it. I noticed you can fly. I thought flying mounts were going to be disabled in 6.0. Mel Marshall, the thing is that I am not in in Draenor. 
Uh, when I get in trainer, I won't be able to fly. But uh, as long as I am, I am, I am in Azeroth, I can still fly. But this is going to be only for a couple of quests. Once I enter Draenor, which is going to be right after these quests here, uh, then I will be able to fly. I won't be able to fly anymore. And yeah, kicks. I know, man. It is a pain in the ass that is going on. Like I really like being able to cast on the go. But well. You can always have nice things, right? No, this is the this is the this is World of Dreamer Beta. This is not the PTR. This is the beta. I can imagine that the PTR is super unstable now, actually. Like, probably un completely unstable. Maybe even unplayable. Like, I remember Bunny Block saying yesterday that uh, it was actually uh, quite a hassle to get on, at least. It is a set day for all kinds of shamans, actually. Not just elemental shamans. Why is that? Because you cannot cast Lightning Bolt on the go anymore. While walking. Yeah. Has that ever been normal? I'm sorry? Has that ever been normal? Yeah. Yeah, you could do that. Uh, Dim Dimples Baby says, PTR is fine, I'm on right now. Okay. Okay, well that is good to know. That is good to know. So have you have you any of you guys that been on the PTR actually tried some old content while on the PTR with your current car characters like maybe ICC or uh, or Old War or stuff like that? How do you think? This is just a pondering. Mm -hmm. Vanir, Hammer of the Ancient King. How that's gonna work out with item switch? I don't know actually. Maybe the proc will just uh, be the proc will be less of less powerful, maybe. Maybe. Because honestly, like now when I think about it, that could probably be very powerful. Oh, well, maybe the spell power isn't enough to cut it. But yeah, I was just talking about it yesterday. Yeah, but the proc, the shield proc, right? Yeah, for 10%. Mm -hmm. It could be quite powerful, actually. So now I'm throwing rice bags at monkeys. <laughs> Mr. Fandaria, man, I hope you're enjoying yourself. So, uh, Dimples Baby says, did ICC Super Lich King die pretty quick? Did you do it alone in 25 man and Heroic? Or was that 10 man? I really wonder how farmable that mount is actually. Probably pretty farmable afterwards. The problem is like, you, you, sh you could probably do it solo even on level 90. I, I, I can imagine Death Knights having no problem doing it solo on it, level 90. It's been done already. Okay, but what I'm trying to say is, with two people, it will probably be a pain in the ass, even on level 100, unless there's quite a lot of damage that you can do as a character, because when those Valkyries come online, you know, they pull you up and throw you off the cliff. I wonder if they do that if you're alone. And can't you DPS those while you they're targeting you? Uh, no, I don't think so. Because otherwise you couldn't even duo it because there's three of them if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, but they don't come at the same time. Okay, Dan is ready, so let's see. 25 with two others, so okay, then it's doable. And Kix says, Vivek later just wanted to stop in and ask about Lightning Bolt real quick, take care. Okay, Kix. Hope, uh, I hope we see you again, buddy. Hope we see you again. Thank you so much for stopping by. So, my friend Danny is ready. 
Let's see if David Kof is in chat or anything. Nope. Nope. So we're gonna do some dungeons right now. We're gonna do some dungeons together with my friend Daniel. One of the best tanks in the world actually. To be honest. He's a good tank. Oh oh real talk. Oh oh thank you so much for your follow man. Much appreciate. Is my follower thingy not working for some reason? Oh, that's sad. Because I was working on the CSS thingy so much. So, so much. Let's see. I'm just testing it out now, guys. I'm sorry for the spam. Cocaine dollar bills and my happy little people. Fucking awesome. Alright, uh, level 100 PV round. Just try to try to get Danny on Skype or something. Setting up all this shit. It's <laughs> fine though. Okay. So, it's gonna be you and me. Uh, it seems Esper wants to level up his paladin on life. You're not fine yet. What? Uh, so it's gonna be you and me. That's okay. Uh, I'm gonna queue up for random. I think he's happy with that. Um. So are these gonna be heroic? So no, we're just gonna be normals. Sure. Just going to be normals for now, at least. It's gonna be normals. Just you know, to check things out, see how it goes. <laughs> I love how uh, all the premade characters have every mount in the game. <laughs> yeah, absolutely every mount in the game. Two hundred and fifty mounts actually. Two hundred and fifty yeah. something. 330 <laughs> actually, 300. At least I get to mount my Amani bear. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I think that... Actually, I never actually got it in TBC. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, where else would you get it, right? Yeah. Okay, Danny, uh, this is... Uh, there's some... Just to put it out there, try not to pull too much. Take it easy with pulls and stuff like that. Because they hurt. They hurt a lot, actually. So take it slow. Alright, I forgot that I should maybe move my uh, unit frames. Wow. The, the unit frame actually has a timer for consecration. <laughs> Are you streaming right now? Mm -hmm. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> Shit is getting real, man. Shit is getting real. <laughs> I love this uh, red outline of your target. <laughs> yeah, it is nice. But it is so inconsistent, though. What is going on with my chain heal? Why does it have a cooldown? Oh, you do have add ons. I don't have any add ons. So, what's the healing thing? Is that new? Which healing thing? You are clicking on health bars, are you not? But that's the standard Blizzard rate frames. Oh. Let me I just check something real quick, Danny. <coughs> oh, okay, it seems that I have these, but why, why does my chain heal have a cooldown? It didn't have before. I guess this was this got changed in the latest patch or something like that. Most probably. Just too OP. I wouldn't say that. But be careful with pulling because I was, I was sort of behind. Yeah, it's fine. No. <laughs> it's crazy that even the the blizzard unit. Wait, wait, these guys need uh, these guys need the interrupting. Yeah. Otherwise, the damage is pretty big on the group. Uh, 
By the way, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but I'm a Tauren now. Well, you're a Tauren now? <laughs> because you like the new models? Yeah, I mean, fuck the Blood Elves. Still old school. Yeah, they look terrible. But the funniest the funniest are the Draenei with, with no waist and legs. <laughs> Uh, by the way, if you if you step on those glyphs on the ground, they hurt like hell. So be careful. Uh, the purple ones. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. Right. Look at the damage. <laughs> like look at the damage. It's just crazy, man. Well, they disappear at least. Well, they do, so but still. The team. Best thing ever. Steps in fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's constantly in fire. <laughs> Can't win them all. No. If only Legalize was here. If only Legalize was here, then this wouldn't be doable at all. Don't turn this into TeamSpeak banter, come on. Oh, sorry, I just... Uh, after being uh, on TeamSpeak with those motherfuckers for the past week or so... <laughs> uh, Right. So much anger. Um, apparently, event has <laughs> team speak has been horrific. Auto window is gonna do some valor farming now. Okay, Auto window, have fun, man. You gotta get that cap. Am I tripping, or I'm actually liking this default UI right now? It's the same. We, 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 can, well, we can go down and we can clear the whole place. I, I recommend that we clear it because... So. Just, let's just kill that thing over there. Let's just get but it. To be fair, I, I think the last time I've uh, used anything resembling a default UI was in Burning Crusade. <laughs> same here. Then again, the last time I actually had an action bar shown was somewhere around there as well. Shit, the damage is real. Yeah, but the problem is that okay, they're not interrupting the here. the void spawn, so it actually it's actually quite a lot of AOE damage. Did you use their own hands there? Mm hmm. Okay. Why not bubble? <laughs> That's actually a good idea, right? That is the bestest idea. Actually, why not taunt Danny? Taunt the boss. Oh, How about you fired. taunt the boss, Danny? <laughs> and then suddenly this turns into TeamSpeak again. Guys, stop. So suddenly a Nova Rock comment comes up. Well. I don't want to be that guy, but you have no right. <laughs> <laughs> well, He's... since I get blamed for it, I have no right, but I know so, better. Are we going down? Yeah, we're going down there. Let me just uh, grab some mana first. Uh, Let me just ninja this cloak and leave. Uh, there is a patrol here of those of uh, like two elementals. Mm, right. So let's just be careful. No, no, we don't have to clear everything there. Uh, oh, actually, it's not this place. It's, we have to go there, I think. No. Yeah, we have to go there. Sorry, my bad. Aren't we going back up? Yeah, we're going back up from there. So we have to go here. Come, 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 come. Completely my bad. There's two holes actually that you can fall down through, and the other one actually, if you go left, you go directly to the boss. This is the longer way, but what else? What else? Don't go like the longer way. Just like your mom. Oh, snap, son. 
Oh snap. P.S. suddenly got nothing on us. <laughs> <laughs> I will not come. No, you were there last night. I'm over, uh, I mean, uh, night before. Yeah. At some point, I sent Mattia a whisper from my character saying, Hey, I wish Sarka was here to shut you all up. And he's like, Who the fuck are you? <laughs> 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 and he was, uh, he was serious, he didn't know it was me, but that was extra hilarious. Uh, <laughs> Sarko is pissing with the real life now. Uh, apparently, apparently he, okay. he's in a meaningful relationship. A capable of relationship? Yeah, he, Sarko is in a meaningful relationship. Uh, with his right hand, I presume. Well, I, I really, I, I, I really feel the pain of, of the woman that gets to share a life with that guy. To be honest. Wow, man. <laughs> what? Well, it's true. He's an asshole. He asshole, asshole. Yeah. Wouldn't go that far. Okay, sure. You, you sure have to be, you know, good on your feet. Quick on your feet. You want to be his. Beloved one. <laughs> Do you like metal? Yes. That's, that's a prerequisite. Yeah, death metal. It's, so they're gonna be, when she's walking down the aisle in in the burning <laughs> church, <laughs> there's gonna be death core blasting all over the place. Well, what's wrong with that? I have no problem with that actually. It's just not traditional, you know. We're talking about traditions here. Uh, stupid question, but what's versatility? Uh, versatility uh, gives you damage reduction actually. Oh. Increases damage and healing done. So let's just explain this boss real quick. So don't stand on glyphs. When <coughs> when room turns black, stand on moons in outer circle. Let me just move the chat so everybody can read this on stream as well. So. Add his main priority. Is that add as singular? Yes, one add. He, sp he spawns one add. And by the way, uh, uh, there's daggers on the ground, Danny. So try to tank it as far away from the daggers as possible. I mean, it's, it is usual stuff, but. Dagger? Right. Well, fine. it's pretty much like. You'll, you'll see. You will see. Okay, so. Let's see. Let's see if we can do this. Is this a level 100 instance, by the way? Yeah. Just, uh, no. This is this is a level 100. Instance. So there's a dagger coming up. Move. Careful with the glyphs there. And there's the ad. Right. So go for the ad directly. They should do as much damage as possible to it. Right. What does it actually do? Uh, when it reaches the boss, so now the whole room is gonna turn black actually. After this phase, uh, when it reaches the boss, it heals it for quite a lot. Sure. Okay, the um, room is turning black, so stand on moons. Stand on moons. Okay, nice. Is there you go. per moon or just whatever? No, you, you can stand on top of each other, no problem. The problem is, uh, whenever the, f the, the phase finishes, we have to move away from from that as fast as possible because uh, mm -hmm. I really hate the fact because the dagger comes right after. It's pretty much like Lich King. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ed is coming. That was nice though. Do the the dagger stay up permanently? So she's gonna heal now, or maybe not. Maybe we'll be getting it. Okay, <coughs> you got it. Cool. So the daggers don't stand stand up permanently, but uh, okay, stand on the moon. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Why did they have to remove my uh, raid mitigating thingy from Cataclysm? And somebody was staying standing next to a dagger, so we're gonna probably wipe now. Because we won't have enough damage to, to, to take down the the ad. I'll, I'll bloodlust or whatever, but still. Yeah, 
I use Lion Hands. Yes, I noticed. Okay, I'm gonna blow blast it. You were saying? Okay, well, Bloodlust did its job. No, my damage cool down dead. <laughs> What's the boss's HP? Okay, we're gonna be fine. We are going to be fine. Loot? Loot? Loot! Uh oh. And agility, yes. versatility, and mastery. By the way, did all the the premium characters get mining and alchemy? As the... mm, it really depends. I got skinning for some reason, I don't know why. <laughs> By the way, wait up, my mana is just I mean, why, out of... why mining? I mean, torrents have, uh, you know, our herbalism as a bonus. Well, I don't know. I don't really, I don't think it matters, actually, because uh, you don't have to be a miner or a herbalist to gather materials from your garrison. So you can get oh. a small amount of herbs each day and a small amount of uh, ore as well. You ready? Yep. Just a little bit behind. Just try to move the mic a little bit, but the problem is that it is very hard to find a place for this microphone. Oh fuck, I actually bubbled. <laughs> Well, <laughs> you killed Attriction or whatever his name is. Uh, but that needs interrupting as well, those beams. Because I'm just spam healing now. And he left. Yes, I would like to find a replacement, please. Thank you, please. Because that channeling thingy just does so much more, so much damage. It's, it's incredible. Uh, the last time I did this place, we actually CC'd quite a lot. Well, you know, from the old saying from uh, Burning Crusade, CC means cannot consecrate. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm out of mana, so don't pull. After just give me some time to recuperate. Well, I'm drinking, so it doesn't matter. Like, one mob no, is not a problem, but a lot of them can be an issue. So if you're just joining us guys, we this is the first dungeon that we've done, we'll probably do a couple, for sure. Ooh. So, is this just a beta thing, to have the first uh, aid as an item, or...? To have the what? <laughs> um, didn't you get the drop? Uh, first oh, the first aid? aid. Uh, first yeah, aid. I, I got it, but... I didn't. I got it like a week ago or something when I made not this character. Sure. I'm not sure if that's, if that's how it's gonna work. I have no idea actually. So, how far are you leveling wise on your leveling character? On well, my leveling character, I am at 97. However, that server has been dodgy for the last three days. 